So there is an invasive insect pest that is essentially the most damaging insect pest in the U.S. called Japanese beetle. Uh, it's well established east of the Rocky Mountains. That's a natural barrier to their spread. So it is not present in the western states in established populations. In 2022, we discovered through routine monitoring and trapping uh, a breeding population of Japanese beetle in the Appleton area of Mesa County. That rough area is 24 Road to about 27 Road and north of G Road and that northern border is basically just a block or two north of I-70. So folks in that area can expect to be contacted uh, by Mesa County and our representatives for advice and assistance with our ongoing eradication plan. And that will take place this March. And we really want to eradicate this population before it grows because it will grow exponentially in number as well as range. And I, the primary concern is that our agricultural economy in sort of the Palisade area will be, uh, it will suffer extreme damage from this pest. Not to mention, this thing's gonna go after people's lawns, people's ornamental plants, affect property values, um, and the associated costs over many years if it establishes will be severe for not only the agricultural industry, um, but also uh, private property owners, and we want to prevent that. The Japanese beetle in its adult stage, which will be flying around or aggregating on plants to feed in the summertime, basically a green-headed scarab beetle uh, with metallic green head and copper-colored sort of shiny brown wing covers. The grub stage, which is its life cycle for the rest of the year, it's going to be just a few inches deep into the soil and it's a C-shaped white grub. It's really gonna come down to everyone's responsibility to protect not only their own yard, their own ornamental plants, but also protecting the whole county. Agriculture, everyone else's lawns and ornamental plants. If just a few people allow this to continue to proliferate in their own lawn, then it'll just keep spreading from that spot and it grows exponentially and we either eradicate it or it, it will persist and continue to be a problem. Our management plan includes the option of a chemical called acelaprin, which is a reduced risk pesticide as classified by the EPA. It's, it has no signal word for toxicity, which is how they classify everything from human drugs to household chemicals to pesticides. Even dish soap has a higher signal word so higher toxicity than acelaprin. If chemicals are simply not an option for some homeowners, then they do have the option to dry down their lawn completely during the egg laying season, and that is also effective. Unfortunately, there are not effective um, organic or cultural controls for this beetle. Um, so we're stuck with either the dry down option or the acelaprin option. If you're in the hot spot and you want to be proactive about this, one of the best ways if you're already using a commercial contractor to maintain your lawn, tell them you want grub control and they will know the treatment timing for effective Japanese beetle grub control. There are also homeowner formulations that are available at garden centers. Um, the granular formulations are pretty affordable. If you're looking for more information about the Japanese beetle, the best educational resource we have is CSU Extension Services. They have a lot of information and fact sheets available on their website that go over Japanese beetle identification, biology, life cycle, as well as damage and treatment options. Doing your part really is quite simple. It really only takes a few people to make this a problem far into the future for all the rest of us. So please do your part. Please try to be proactive and the very least effort, if you're in the hot spot, consent to treatment options of either Mesa County doing the grub control for you or drying down your lawn so that we can protect all of our valuable ornamental and turf plants as well as all of Palisades fruit and wine agriculture.